Hey, Brandon. Uh, do you have any more clarity on your uh, start or your starting rotation, and you know who's going to be in there, and and what what the order could be? Yeah, we're going to start Matt Harvey game two, and uh, the next three I'll let you know at a later date. One at a time. <laughs> next is Jeff Arnold. Hey, Brandon, in terms of John Means, when he gets two strikes with better putaways, I mean, is it better sequencing that'll help with that? Or, or what are some ways to maybe get through some of those at bats a little sooner without as many foul balls? I'm not sure. I don't think it's the sequencing as much as it is the execution of the pitch with two strikes and being able to, uh, you know, start balls, start pitches from strike to ball. And I feel like a lot of his fastballs that are fouled back are maybe not up enough or in off the plate enough to get swing and misses. Uh, but he just leaves it a little bit where the guy can, you know, battle on. Uh, but I, I like to see some breaking balls tonight that are, that are strike the ball. He's facing a really tough lineup. Uh, and it's going to be a really nice test for him right before we start the season. So, uh, you know, it's... John Means is always on the attack. He's always trying to fill up the strike zone, which I love. You'd like to see him get a little bit better, more early contact to try to stay in games longer. And then when he does get that advantage count, be able to put guys away. Up next is John Mioli. Brandon, it was only made official yesterday. I'm sure you've had a lot of time to process what's been happening with Chris Davis. How do you feel about how the spring has developed for him? Well, he, it wasn't very long. Uh, you know, he hurt his back on the in that first game, and and went into treatment after that. And, and he's been seeing a, a been with our medical staff and seeing doctors regarding his back, and and now he's continuing to do so. So hoping for a speedy recovery. And uh, I talked to him just a few days ago, um, and he really really wants to to rehab this and and. Feeling good, feeling good again. Bottom line. Uh, so yeah, I felt you know I feel bad for anybody that gets hurt. Feel bad for him on his in his first game that he feels a little tweak on his back coming out of the batter's box and uh, hoping for the best. Next is Nathan. Brandon, what do you like about Ramon Urias's game? Ramon Urias, yeah. Uh, Ramon showed a lot of good things this spring. He's done a nice job on both middle spots. I've been playing him at third base a little bit. He's gotten some stars. He's come into games. He's done a really nice job defensively, uh, especially early in camp. He was driving the baseball and, and making a lot of hard contact. He's kind of cooled off a little bit from there, but he's been a little bit sporadic, sporadic at bats. Uh, but uh, Ramon really does stay on the ball nicely. It's the ball the other way. Uh, and he does a really good, and he's a really solid defender. Melanie Newman. Brandon, back-to-back -back starts for Rio in the last two games. Um, the initial argument we saw on the outside was Franco has an edge with just a slightly better bat than Rio. But what have you been seeing as you've weighed these two guys side by side? Well, I think that uh, I'm going to try to find a way to get both in the lineup. I, mean, I like the way both guys swing the bat. Rio's, Rio's having a nice camp. I think he's been swinging the bat very well lately. Played a really nice third base last night. Uh, done a really good job. Been really made a lot of strides, I feel like, defensively this spring at third base. Um, it's improving in all areas. So uh, I'm going to try to find a way to get both guys in there. Dan Connolly. Yeah, Brandon, can you give us a little reason, kind of a little bit uh, thought on what went into Harvey at number two? And also just overall, I mean, here's a guy who, you know, didn't really have a job, and now he's number two starter in, in the bigs again. Um, you know, how interesting is that story to you? Well, I love telling, telling him that he was starting number two. That he was pumped up. Uh, he's, had a, he's had a nice camp. He had a really good start his last time, on, last time out. Uh, he's right on, and it's going to be his turn that day. Uh, and, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into too much more just because I haven't divulged the other three. But, um, yeah, I, I think Matt's just been – I've talked a lot about him already, but he's just been a super pro in camp. And um, I feel like he's improving. He's improved every outing. I think he feels great physically. 
I know that he's excited to be here and has, it feels like he has a lot to prove. So um, it was cool telling him. Final question is John Mioli. Brandon, with no Santander again, was that part of the plan or is he still have too many bats earlier in the week? No, he's, he, I'm hoping he's in there tomorrow or the next day. He, he's just got, he took a lot of bats and he's got his size a little bit sore. And so I think that we just, we, he took regular work today. Um, he had a ton of bats a couple days ago. I was getting him a couple of days off anyways, and now I just don't want to push anything. There's no reason to put him on the field um, if he's in the least bit sore. So like everybody else uh, that's on the club, I want to make sure they're 100%. And I'm not in a rush to get Tony because he's got enough at bats already. Uh, I'm not worried about his defense. His legs are underneath them. So I'm just going to wait till he's ready to go before I play him in a game. Is it the same one as last year? Same side? I don't think so. Okay, I lied. Final question is Rock. Brandon, you're more confident now that Franco will be ready for opening day. He looks like it. He looks like it. Took four at bats last night. Played a little first base. He's got a couple more games to go. So we'll see.